Hey everyone, how you doing? I um, I document every single day when I leave the house. I I record, um, save videos, put them on a hard drive. I don't have time to do anything with them when I get home. Sometimes I've got to get right back to work. Got to pay bills. Actually, I've got to do that today. I got to pay some bills today. Um, you know, just get work done, get life done, go to pick up kids, go take them places. Uh, do life. So, when I catch up with as much of that as I can, I'll try to sit down and do some of these videos for, for you all to see exactly what I'm talking about and I can narrate what's going on. So, this was just one day. Um, we'd been working hard. Uh, my son and I were hungry. He said, hey, let's go to the Chinese buffet. I said, all right, well, he just said it out loud. This ought to be interesting. Here we go. I'm, I'm not going to not go to lunch with my son because these people are going to antagonize me and pull these street theater skits and this psychological operation. Uh, I'm just going to go do my thing, deal with it. So I thought this day was worthy of documenting um, our trip there because there was a lot of uh, just standard things that a lot of people that are targeted will be able to notice right off the bat. And some people that have a hard time understanding, I can explain. Now, when I explain these things in this video, please remember that I'm not explaining that I've seen some of these scenarios one time. This is something that happens repetitiously over and over and over and over again. So like if uh, now before this trip, I had recently just gone to the store and I bought some oil to change the oil in my truck. And as soon as I start looking up how to fix my truck or um, parts or anything like that, all of a sudden, everywhere I go in town, there's just cars left and right on the side of the street with their hood open, people pushing their cars, um, tow trucks with broken down vehicles that look just like mine um, that just happen to be, you know, pulled right in front of me. They'll do something kind of odd. They'll make weird hand signal um, hand signals or gestures or stop what they're doing and look up and aim their phone right at you at the exact moment you go by it's always at the exact moment that you go by it's perfect timing so uh here we are leaving the house and i'll just explain this the best i can and uh, if you have any questions um leave your comments you know if you're just going to say you're crazy you're this you're that that's that's not what i'm talking about that's all that is is trolling there are millions and millions of hours of videos um, talking about this. You know, this isn't a delusion. This is a uh, it's a documentary of a Stasi program that's being exposed. So here we go. Leaving my neighborhood. I just got oil. Now, here we go. Here's one of their signatures. They'll wear red shoes and a red shirt. Now, not everybody that wears red shoes and a red shirt is a perp. I have red shoes and red shirts. I still haven't thrown them away because I refuse to uh, be corralled into wearing different clothes. But uh, I do my best not to wear them at the same time so I don't get misidentified by somebody else that's targeted, you know. Uh, anyway, so here's a guy with red shoes and red shirt. The lights are on. So they've got their lights on, but the car's broken down, so... Okay, so it's not a dead battery. Um, but they're just, right when they leave the neighborhood, they're pushing their car right after I got my oil. So this is something that's done over and over and over again. And they usually have a red car meet me at the intersection when I leave the house and some kind of noise that starts at the exact. So do you notice that that uh, chainsaw or whatever that is started at the exact moment I pulled up to the intersection? Right? Um, you know, people do yard work, but they do it at the exact time. You know, it's not, not, not that hard if a bunch of people have, you know, their app on their phone pops up, ding, hey, person's in, in sight, they're driving a whatever, this is what they look like, 
do your little thing. And then the guy that's already there weed whacking or using a chainsaw is like, oh, hey, there's one right there. Here they come. They're pulling up. All right, they're here. Fired up. And then you just sit there. Wing, 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 wing. And it sounds ridiculous because it is. These people shouldn't be doing stuff like this. Um, but that's how they get uh, to antagonize you all throughout your uh, your trip. You know, they learn your path, your most traveled destinations, you know, and uh, study you, learn you, learn how to antagonize you. Now I'm going to pull out here and there, there's a car going to honk at me. He had plenty of room and it's a construction zone. There's the red car, yeah, the Challenger. That guy had plenty of room. Plus we're in a construction area apparently. The speed limit's like 25. So here's the red 4Runner pulling up on the right. Just like my truck. Why is this entire road blocked off? Red cars at the intersection. Every intersection. There's the tow truck. Wow, did you hear the turbo kick in? <laughs> I thought I'd fast forwarded this a little bit uh, faster, but. So I got just almost every intersection, red cars the intersection. It's the. Uh, about the lowest percentage of cars sold are red. Okay, now here we go. Here's the red car. Two red cars, two white cars. Now yeah, a whole bunch of red and white cars. Anyway, now watch. They'll have a couple up the street that will just go perfect time and cut off the gaps so you cannot go and it would not be that hard for these people to do this that guy could have gone way earlier there's the red car to slow this guy down he could have easily gone easily gone and they they know that I've been slowed down the entire time for no reason just like to go have lunch and uh, they want to slow you down. And when you're going, oh, I'm going to lurch forward and act like I'm going to hit you. Here's the red car at the intersection on my left. Pretty sure another one will pass. Pretty irritated by now because I, I, I see the patterns that these people are using. And I know that they're still they're harassing me. There's a medic over here on the left parked. And here just happens to be three red cars right when I pull into the Chinese buffet. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna park right there. I wanna park a little bit closer up to the front. My son already took his seatbelt off, so that's why that's dinging. He thought we were gonna park. And uh, so I pulled around and noticed this car right here. Whoop, got over on their side a little bit. Um, they just pulled in the parking lot right behind me. They followed me in. Noticed that they had no reason to pull in there because they're leaving. Okay, see what I'm saying? See the guy in the pink shirt? There's a T-Mobile place right there, but he just happens to be getting into his, opening his door at the exact same time I'm showing up. And uh, this, this car right here, just happens to have a license plate that says Jill Beans, which is my ex-wife's nickname. Jilly Bean. And then here's the red car, the final red car. At the exact same time, there's there's plenty of parking spaces around here. The exact same time, I'm trying to open my door, get my backpack with my computer out. And uh, 
they're just sitting, they're pulling up, inching up to my door. Inching up to my door like they're going to run my door over because they can't wait just a second while I get my stuff. They had to pull in that exact parking space. She said, get away from my goddamn car. I, I wasn't doing anything to their car. I was trying to film that license plate. Well, I was filming that license plate, as you can clearly see. Um, uh, but these people are antagonists. They're clearly antagonists. They're the typical standard piece of shit gang stalkers. And they, they weren't even going into any business in there. They just wanted to pull into that parking space to antagonize me. You'll see that here in a second. So, yeah, I'm not right, putting so up with them. Here's the show of these people that were just messing with me. They weren't even staying here. They weren't parking here. They weren't coming here to uh, engage any kind of business. They just pulled in at the exact same time that I did. So they can sit there and honk at me and yell, fuck you, while I'm trying to get out of my car, get my computer, and uh, get this license plate right here on the back of this vehicle uh, because my ex-wife, whose nickname just happened to be Jilly Beans, Jilly Bean, she had another one, it was Gigi. And uh, it seems like whenever I talk about her on my videos, I seem to get a little notification of somebody fucking with me uh, with her. Uh... All right, now watch, or listen to this guy right here. He, he spotted me. Damn, my skin is burning right now while I'm doing this video. Great. I feel like I'm getting cooked from the inside. My skin's burning. I feel not. <coughs> feel nauseous. Great. Impeccable timing. Um. Excuse me. Watch this guy. I listened to him. He's spotted me, and he's like, uh, "I'm gonna harass this guy right now." Now, I literally, the day before this, got sent a packet in the mail with some tax information, and I'm behind on taxes. I had some money stolen from me. Told it was put in an account. Oh, it's there. We're saving it up. We're saving it up. We're saving it up. Um, and all of a sudden, that person who said we're saving it up is gone. And there's like, "Where's that money? What account was it in? What did? Oh, it didn't exist." Okay, or it did exist and it's gone. Who knows? Uh, but I got the, this tax stuff the day before, and the person that sent it sent some chocolates in the pack with the taxes in a loose plastic bag so they'd get thrown all over the place, and I'd get my taxes with chocolate stuff just all over it. Thanks. That'll be great when I take that to the uh, next tax guy. Anyway. Listen to what this guy says the day after I received that package. What's up, buddy? I'm sorry? What are you talking about? He said, taxes? Taxes? He, he's just sitting out there waiting for people to come by. So his little GPS will go ding. The information can come up and he can pull his little bullshit skit. Now, imagine there's five, ten of these people in each shopping center, each shopping facility. They've got their cell phone. They've got their app for their domestic terrorist watch list. And they act out their skit uh, so they can be part of the dream. Um, it's not that hard to wrap your head around. So this guy pulled the thing up. Oh, just got him. Just got tax tax stuff yesterday. That's bothering him. He needs to take care of that. So remind him of that. Taxes, but it just looks like he's meeting somebody there to do his taxes. You know. <laughs> Did you say gang stalker and targeted individuals? Is that what you're researching, gang stalker? So now this guy right here, I'm about to film. Uh, was sitting next to me in the restaurant and he was giving me extra attention and then when I went in he made sure to uh, aim his phone right at me alright red car at the intersection as I'm leaving people, the people crossing the crosswalk they started a little early but they'll have people walk across the crosswalk all the time right in front of you perfect timing um, you know and, and it makes you sound like an asshole hey people are walking in front of, in front of me at the crosswalk. People do that. 
uh, but not a hundred times in a row or a hundred days in a row along with the other identifiers that they show you when they're uh, doing these skits so notice okay the, these cones I noticed this when I'd go on long road trips that it's some uh, some exits out in the middle of nowhere they just have cones for days and no no apparent construction or anything like that and these guys I never saw any construction going on that would justify them putting all these cones in that day didn't make any sense oh and there goes the Avondale fire department right as I get home and I'm home so um, it wasn't a ridiculous day of auto mobbing on my way there and back just like the um, you know more than well not usual for me but more than usual in general you know red and white vehicles just happen to show up at the intersection at the exact same time you do or show up at the, the, the side road at the exact same time you do you, you understand you've been sensitized to this over time so uh, and then and then after all of those red vehicles and you're like okay I know that's one I know that's one I know that's one not just because you're driving a red car but because of their actions the way that they're driving around you or what they're doing the way they're looking giving you the, your the extra attention you know and uh Then you get to wherever you're at, you're already frustrated. Like, God, these people, leave me the hell alone. And then you try to get in your, your car to get your bag out. And then you have some people that pull up that just want to inch up to your door. Like if they just, if they, their foot slipped off the pedal, they're going to run into you and rip your door off at the same time. So of course you're going to get a little, little edgy, like, Hey, but you know, just wait a second, back off. What's your issue? Even if you hadn't dealt with these people for years on end, you'd still, somebody doing that, you'd be like, whoa, excuse me, um, could you possibly wait a second, please? Or maybe park in one of the other parking spaces, the other 25 available parking spaces around here? All right, that was my uh, most recent documentation, just trying to go have some lunch with my son. Um, notice these guys right here, these... Uh, White truck right here, Genesis, with the big G. I've got the big G on there, just like in Freemasonry at the Mason Lodge, Masonic Lodge. I've got the big G. And I thought it stood for God for a long time, and now I'm realizing more and more that it stands for government. Those guys are like the warriors for government. If you um, basically speak out about the government, I think they've got the, the Freemasons that uh, come get you, you know? You don't say 9-11 was a inside job you don't say that chemtrails could be biological engineering to put nanotech into people's bodies so they can uh, react better to 5g and uh, different wi-fi you know talk about that stuff send the freemasons after you that's what it seems like to me i don't know i haven't uh proven it maybe there's Good Freemasons and bad Freemasons. There's, a, you know, like in the military, just good guys, bad dick, bad guys. Just like in politics. Well, man, there are not too many politicians that, anyway, in government, there's good guys, bad guys, stuff like that. You know, it's hard to say, but uh, it sure does seem like they're a big part of the, uh, the organized stalking harassment in my life. Either I'm being made to believe that, to, uh, you know, or that's it. It's tough to say who's doing it. I know it's happening. I don't know who's responsible. We'll get close. There's a lot of different groups that do similar stuff. Um, I'll end on this, I guess. Uh, Freemasons. Now, this is just from my research. I've heard other people talk about it from their research. I've read books. I've gone to the Masonic Lodge myself, talked to Freemasons, went to the pastor's house for dinner. Uh asked questions so uh studied talked to people studied religions my neighbor was mormon down the street went to his house talked to him um about some different things and uh, so so i've got some insight some of this stuff you know they didn't tell me any secrets or anything like that but um, from what i've observed what i've researched what i've listened to uh yeah masons are involved in gang stalking who knows? Maybe that's what the G stands for. Uh, 
they play out skits on Tuesday nights. They kill Hiram Abiff or Hiram Abiff killed one of the, yeah, I don't, I've never been to the skit, but anyway, they dress up beards and do a mock killing of a guy because he divulged the, uh, the hidden wisdom. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, they practice theater weekly. Okay, they they learn their parts. They learn their skits. They have to get their part right. You have to get your parts right before you get to the other levels. You know, you're an apprentice mason, so that's your first degree. In second degree, third degree, you're a master mason, and there's no higher mason than that, but there are appendages of masonry. Like the the um, Order of the Royal Arch, um, Knights Templar, bunch of different things. Shriners, got to be a mason to be a shriner. Um, the Shriners, are the, by the way, the guys you see in the parade, and they all drive red cars and red hats, and they do this precision driving where they almost run into each other. Very similar to what what I witness on the roads quite a bit, a lot of red cars nearly missing me or driving um, a calculated fashion, just kind of real similar. So, uh, yeah, I believe the, the Masons, they call their silent dagger or secret dagger. You see a lot of them with the dagger um, through like a skull or through like a, a wolf, wolf's head, um, through a heart dagger, silent dagger, hidden dagger, something like that. Um, Scientology, they gang stalk people. Leanne, Rim, I, Leah Rimini, Le, I always get her name wrong. She got a gang stalk. She talks about it. Scientology came after her with a vengeance because she was like, "What are you trying to tell me? What are you people doing? This is, I've, I'm obviously in a cult. You people are evil. Why are you doing this?" Um, and then they just put her through what I got put through. I'm pretty sure it sounds like the same damn thing. Um, so we get Scientology. That's fair game. What they call their program, that's fair game. Uh, I found some spyware on my phone. It's probably listening to me right now. It says uh, fairplay.h2. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But I also found digital... Uh, digital watchdog on my phone. Somebody must have put that on my phone. Listens to me still. Uh, don't know how to remove either one of those. So, but yeah, Scientology gets into that. The Mormon Church actually was started by a Freemason. Um, they're into gang stalking the uh, Mormon guy down the street. I'm not saying now when I talk about these groups, I'm not saying that every single person in the religion is in, involved in this. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I hope not in these different religions or these different cults. I hope that not every single person is involved, but I don't know. Um, in Freemasonry, it kind of seems like it, like that's their main objective. Play out skits for the queen. Um, the uh, queen's actors. I found this after researching my, um, my license plate. Uh, there's... Uh, you probably saw it on this video. I don't even care anymore. People are like, don't put your personal information out. It's so out there. It did my license plate, my address doesn't even matter. You know, somebody came by and did a drive-by on me or us. It, actually get somebody to investigate this shit, maybe help end it. Uh, that's the point I'm at. I don't fucking care anymore. So anyway, 1583 is on my license plate, and I was like, they're always sending me some kind of signal message through to whatever. Um, my veterans plate they gave me one with all threes on it uh, I didn't ask for it they're just here here's a special one for you wink all threes alright thanks that's neat um, so I looked up 1583 and I'm looking up 
uh, different stuff, and I find the uh, the Queen's Actors, the Queen's Actors, fifteen eighty three. I should just go to that. Why not? Why not? Fifteen eighty three. I'll just type that in. Um, I'm pretty sure the link should be open still. Nope. Historical events on this day. Let's see. 1583 actors. Major English acting troops. Oxford and books. Queen Elizabeth's men. Here we go. Here we go. So Queen Elizabeth's men. I'll drink a little coffee here before. I... All right. Check this out. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth's men. Queen Elizabeth's Men was a playing company or troupe of actors in English Renaissance Theater formed in 1583 at the express command of Queen Elizabeth. It was in the dominant acting company for the rest of 1850s as the Admiral's Men. You know what? I'll do another video for this. Let's do that. Uh, if you don't see it, just check this out. Queen's Actors in 1583... Um, some of the best actors were hired for government, the spies. 1583. I think they might have refined that a little bit since then. Uh, let's check that out on, on uh, another video. All right. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.